Hello and welcome fellow motorsports fans. We've got a brilliant race week ahead of us with races in IMSA, IndyCar, F1 to 3, Freca, Italian F4 and much much more. And it is now time for me to give you my top 3 races to watch this weekend. Off we go. The Formula Regional European Championship begins its second half of the season at Paul Ricard this weekend and the battle for the top spot couldn't be much closer. Italian prodigy Andrea Kimi Antonelli sits on 152 points in P2 overall, two points behind Norwegian talent Martinius Sensorn, who has easily been the surprise breakout star of the season. While I am obviously an incurable Antonelli fanboy myself, there is no denying that the Norwegian has been performing brilliantly to get where he is, not only beating Antonelli's Prema, but also the way more experienced Tim Tramnitz and an equal RA's GP machinery as well. Five rounds and ten races to go means the season is far from over though, meaning we could see a rise in form for series veterans Kaz Havercourt and Tim Tremnitz, or for Antonelli's Prema teammate and long-term rival Brazilian Ferrari junior Rafael Camara. Or, if you are into stories away from the main championship battle, female Ferrari junior Maya Wurch, excuse my pronunciation, has recently stepped up massively in the previous two rounds, scoring three out of four races despite racing in the subpar equipment provided by Kick Motorsports. I very much hope this trend continues, as the F1 ladder desperately needs more competent female competitors. Formula 1 returns at the Angaro Ring, and the hot story there is obviously the hugely anticipated return of Danny Ricciardo. The Aussie fan favourite takes the seat of underperforming rookie Nick DeVries at AlphaTauri after a horrible two year stint at McLaren. Now he will have a chance to redeem himself by going up against Yuki Tsunoda, albeit in a pretty terrible car. The long term implications are quite a bit more interesting though, as the seat he is now currently occupying appeared to be Liam Lawson's obvious destiny considering his current Super Formula performance. This in turn could imply a possible move back to Red Bull proper for Ricardo, replacing the underperforming Paris and opening up space for everybody's favourite Kiwi. Or could beating Ricardo beat Sonoda's ticket to step up to the main team next year? Is Ricardo going back to be his old Red Bull self, the one apparently anticipated from his testing results? Or is it going to be another McLaren stint, this time ending his career for good? No matter who you support though, the outcome of this battle will heavily influence upcoming roster moves and this battle begins this weekend in Hungary. IMSA is heading to its first GT3 only round of the championship with only teams from GTD and GTD Pro classes competing at Lime Rock Park. Considering the fact that there are only a few rounds left to go, this is the perfect opportunity to talk about the wider championship implications of the upcoming round. Vassar Sullivan Lexus number 14 tops the chart in GTD Pro as British factory duo Ben Barnacote and Jack Hawksworth look like an incredibly well-rounded duo in a great car, allowing them to take two wins while almost exclusively finishing on the podium. They are far from a comfortable championship win though, as 100 points is nothing in the IMSA point system. Jules Gunon and Danny Yankadala sit in P2 with the WeatherTech AMG number 79 and considering Gunon's form in particular is a force to be reckoned with if the BOP allows. The Antonio Garcia and Jordan Taylor manned factory Corvette and the fan favourite Pfaff Porsche number 9 piloted by Patrick Pillay and Klaus Bachler are not far off in P3 and 4. So no matter the outcome of the race, a shake up of the current order seems rather likely. The gap in GTD is a bit bigger, as the Paul Miller Racing BMW number 1 leads by over 200 points ahead of a 3-way 4P2. Roman DeAngelis and Marcus Aronson currently occupy the position in the heart of racing Aston Martin number 27, ahead of the Vessel Sullivan Lexus number 12 and the Inception Racing McLaren number 70. So also four different brands in the top four in GTD. What is there not to love about IMSA GT3 racing? My personal favourite tends to be the clean work by both Vassar Sullivan crews, unless we get to see some goon on magic. Either way, make sure not to miss the action. What races are you looking forward to the most? Let me know down in the comments.
and if you don't want to miss my recap after the racing has concluded, feel free to subscribe. Anyway, take care and remember, racing is more than just F1.